Now, the forecast with Coin 6 Chief Meteorologist Bruce Sussman. All right, let's talk about what's going on in the forecast. And boy, we've had some good rain tonight. I think tomorrow looks like a drier day, 63 degrees, and mostly dry out the door tomorrow morning. At lunchtime, it's still partly to mostly cloudy, but we managed to kind of wiggle our way up to 70. We're at 76 at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and we still make 80 tomorrow, uh, like we did today, just barely. Could be an isolated afternoon shower, but I don't think it'll be anything like what moved through tonight. And we still got a live Doppler, some pretty decent rain stretching from, I guess, the northern half of the metro area on up into Clark County and out west and a little bit to the east, although there was much less rain on the east side tonight. Most of it was a west side, at least the heaviest totals were. And you can see that it kind of draped back over to the coast range. And then looking to the south, there's not much left to come through. Rain totals today, a 1700 of an inch for Portland and Hillsboro. Vancouver had four tenths of an inch of rain. And some of you really got under these uh, heavy areas of rain for a few minutes. It added up in Beaverton, 42 hundredths of an inch. That is pretty impressive. And then at our Vancouver location, remember at Pearson Airfield, it was four tenths, but not too far away on the I 205 side of Vancouver, it was only 1700. So location made a big difference in how hard it was raining at your house tonight. The coast actually was drier overall uh, than Portland. Now outside right now, 64 degrees, a little bit of a northeast breeze. We did have gusts earlier today of 20 to 30 miles an hour, but those died down before the rain came in. Our highs were in the 80s. Let's talk about what's going on. So what at times tonight, thanks to this area of low pressure that's pulling in some of this moisture here. But the big picture, I'm not really excited about as I look ahead to the Labor Day weekend forecast. It looks to me like there's going to be a big dip or trough in the jet stream, and that is going to help pull down some wetter and cooler weather as we go through the holiday weekend. Now, looking at our rain and cloud forecast overnight and into tomorrow morning, you know, it does look mostly dry to start the day tomorrow. Probably some scattered showers along the coast at times. And then as we get into tomorrow evening, we'll want to watch for this next disturbance rolling through. It looks like the majority of it stays to the west of the valley, but we could get some isolated showers in here, as I mentioned, later in the day tomorrow. So the majority of the day looks dry. Along the coast, it'll be showers. But in the valley, still mid 70s to mid 80s, depending on where you are. East of the Cascades, lots of sunshine, still acting like summer with summer heat. 69 degrees at government camp and light winds tomorrow in Hood River. Now, here in the metro area, I start us at 63 degrees. It's partly sunny to mostly cloudy, a little humid, and highs right around 80 in both Portland and Vancouver tomorrow. Salem will do the same thing. 82 on Wednesday, 79 on Thursday, with a little better chance for some more scattered showers. And then here's the weekend forecast. And right now, the way I see it is Saturday evening rain comes in after a warm day. And then Sunday's wet at times, Monday's wet at times, highs only in the 60s. The only thing that we have really to hope at this point hmm. is that the forecast changes uh, between <laughs> now and then. Because what I'm seeing right now looks like it's, you know, it's a typical Oregon Washington holiday weekend. Wow, forecast. 60 so. I know. That I would be the first time in months. We really forgot what that feels <laughs> Let's like. Let's not do that. Okay, thank you, Bruce. <laughs>